Differential probes allow for the ability to probe circuits that either exceed the maximum voltage of your scope or signals that have extra common node signals or even noise. Differential probes work by comparing the negative terminal with the positive terminal to produce the difference between the two terminals. When using a differential probe to, say, view a CAN bus that is either differential in nature or doesn't have a nice grounding point, a differential probe can be used to monitor the signal. To show the difference between a differential probe and a passive probe that comes with one of our oscilloscopes, I've connected channel 1 and channel 2 together from our DG5 in a way where channel 1 is creating the cardiac signal that we have viewed up on the scope, and then channel 2 right now is creating a sine wave that's being pushed into the negative end of channel 1. What this is going to allow us to do is kind of show some of the differences that the differential probe can have over a passive probe. So to start out with, I'm going to increase the amplitude of the sine wave, which is our noisy signal coming into the negative end of our cardiac signal. I'm just going to increase this. And on channel 1 is our differential probe, and channel 2 is the passive probe. And as I increase the amplitude, we'll see that we can't even tell that it was a cardiac signal to begin with. Next up, we can also do a DC offset. And what we'll see with the differential probe and how it compares the negative and positive end of the signal coming in, we'll see that when we increase the voltage of our secondary channel, it won't shift on the screen, increasing in voltage. But the passive probe will continue to move around, and we can also do negative voltage as well. So what the differential probe is allowing us to do is it's taking the difference between the positive and negative end and comparing them to give us our nice clean signal. What this allows us to do is easily view a signal that's got either got noise in it or extra power or an underlying signal that's just in there that we just need to take away and view the correct signal.